Hello everyone, this is Ravens from DG Integrative. Welcome to Tech News episode 256. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India has directed all telecos to immediately enable facility to send text message or SMS shortcode to 1900, which is used for porting from one carrier to another. The regulator has directed that the service that enables request for unique porting code has to be made effective for all the subscribers prepaid as well as the postpaid members irrespective of the tariff value of the offer or voucher. A traffic chalan for a Mumbai resident became expensive after he lost 60,000 rupees to fraudsters. This man mentioned that he was intended to pay his rupees 400 traffic chalan, but he ended up losing much more. It is unclear how the man landed up to the incorrect website. The police has been notified of this incident. The victim said that he initially paid his rupees 400 traffic chalan for his four wheeler. The victim claims that his payment application C wallet did not indicate the transaction after the money was sent. He contacted the customer service number supplied to him after becoming concerned about the payment. The victim dialed the number which was answered by a fraudster posing a customer service representative under the guise of refunding the money. The accused concerned the victim into sharing their debit card information, forcing him to download a remote access control application and OTPs has been obtained in four separate transactions. The victim has lost around Rs 60,000. Rupees. Uber has rolled out a couple of safety features for riders and drivers. Uber has announced a new audio recording feature that would let users record audio during the trip. These features can be used by the drivers as well as the riders. Oppo foldable smartphone has been spotted on the Geekbench listing. The listed smartphone is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon triplet processor which is paired with a 12 GB of RAM. Oppo will be going to launch this smartphone on the Oppo Inno Day 2021 which is going to be held on 14th and 15th of December. Oppo's annual Inno Day is scheduled to take place next week and we will see a plenty of new developments from the brand including a retraceable rear camera phone prototype and the brand's new latest flagship. And from the Oppo, we can also expect its latest neural processing unit as well as a new pair of smart AR glasses. This year's Oppo Inno Day will be held on 14th and 15th December with an innovative product launch and happening at one day and a flagship product launch will be taking place on day two. Indian origin physician Anil Menon, a lieutenant colonel at the US Air Force, has been selected by the NASA along with the nine others to be astronauts for future missions. This was announced by the American space agencies. He was SpaceX's first flight surgeon, helping to launch the company's first humans to space during NASA's SpaceX Demo 2 mission and building a medical organization to support the human system during the future missions. NASA announced that it has chosen over 10 new astronaut candidates from a field of more than 12,000 applicants to represent the US and work from humanity benefit in space. All the laptops in the Infinix InBook X1 series comes with a 14-inch Full HD display with a 100% sRGB color gamut. The base variant powered by the 10 Gen Intel Core i3 processor is priced at Rs 35,999. The security features on the laptops include a fingerprint scanner and a hardware-based privacy switch for the microphone and camera. Infinix is all set to launch two new smartphones in the Indian market. Infinix set to launch the Infinix Note 11 and the Infinix Note 11 s on December 13th. Infinix Note 11 is speculated to be priced around Rs 13,000 in India. According to the reports, the iPhone 14 entry model is set to feature a 6.1 and 60 Hz display with a notch cutout. Next, the iPhone 14 Max is tipped to feature a 6.7 inch display, but its exact details are unknown yet. And we can assume that the high end iPhone 14 models will get a 120 Hz refresh rate with a punch hole cutout. The number of mobile phone launches in the January to March quarter will fall around by 20% along with the shipments as component shortages as shipment delays continue to plug the sector and brands factor in possible impact of the Omicron variant. Stocks are running low and the brands are not able to service the sector. Industry will find a way to work around the continuing component shortage but launches in the coming quarter may get delayed. The component supply choke has been building up since the beginning of the pandemic and the new variant has led to further displays in sea and air cargo shipments has also increased freight rates and container prices. 
Apple's 15th Bionic chipset launched in September with the iPhone 13 family as it usually does but we are yet to see Qualcomm's competing solution, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Early benchmark results are out now and they suggested that the hype around this processor, new Adreno GPU might be justified. There are some tests conducted between the Apple's A15 Bionic chipset and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. There is no statistically meaningful difference in the GFX Bench T-Rex off-screen test but in the Manhattan off-screen ES 3.0 test, Qualcomm's contender got around 267 frames, about 24% higher score than Apple's Silicon. In the 3D Mark test, the Snapdragon got around 12% lower score. This is the first time in a while that the Qualcomm chip might be able to match Apple's hardware and even beat it in terms of share processing power. But of course, more tests are needed to say for sure if the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 will take the crown as the most powerful processor or not. According to the leakster, the Call of Duty Warzone Mobile could launch in 2022. Another leaker has found a job listing to assist in the development of a AAA mobile FPS title, which is codenamed as Warzone Mobile. Although Activision has not confirmed Warzone Mobile yet, it should be safe to assume that the game will be coming to the mobile phones at some point. Realme is gearing up for the launch of the Realme 9 series. Ahead of the launch, we bring you the exclusive renders of the Realme 9i. Realme 9i will sport a punch-hole display and a triple rear camera setup. Redmi Note 11 4G will launch in India soon. This handset will be sold in three RAM and storage options. Redmi Note 11 4G will be available in graphite grey, twilight blue and a star blue color options. Telegram announced a new update to its chat application via blog post. The company stated that this new update brings tools to prevent others from saving content in groups and channels. The ability to delete messages from specific dates, new ways to manage your connected devices, an option to post anonymously in public groups on behalf of your channel and many more. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.